everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So we are still on the same planet, Quarrel, and if we go to the mech bay real quick, the Holopolis is still down. Now I did ask um, on the um, uh, comments to mention which mech do you think I should put together first, and it would seem that the uh, the favorite seems to be the Marauder, and I, I you know I kind of agree with the points people made about this. It's probably going to be cheaper just to put this one together because um, having to mix these two, it's going to cost us for the parts for two of the other mech parts of whichever one we choose to put to get, to put together the mech. So that'll cost more. It's one thing. And the second thing is, is because this is one solid mech, uh, and I never really thought of this, it's probably going to have a better chance to recover. We can't really tell down here, but it says uh, limb, re limb repair 43%. We're probably going to get a better uh, recovery chance off of that. I know it says the same here, uh, recovery chance, but I think like that's if you, um, oh, maybe not. I don't know. I would imagine that the recovery chance is better if you if if you've got all the pieces of one mech, as opposed to mix and matching it, but. That I don't, I don't know. I can't. I can't guarantee that. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, that also being said, too, I think the Marauder is just kind of a cooler looking mech anyway. So let's put that one together. To, uh, we're going to do that probably at the end of this episode today. Um, so we want Sea Bills really badly. Uh, Holopolis and Killjoy won't be back for another eleven days. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the same like uh, mechs that we did in the last episode, and we're going to go to. Command Center. We're going to take the last available mission to us. Um, I mean, we could take some of these others here. The targeting, target acquisition is going to be a really a risky proposition. I don't know if we can pull that off. Especially at three and a half skulls with a lot of the light mechs that we have. It's iffy, right? Um, if we had a base defense here at a higher skull value, I'd probably take it, but we don't. Um, three and a half skulls here. If we had the Holopolis, this might be a possibility. But because most of our mechs are lighter mechs right now, I don't think that's probably a good idea. That's probably going to be three lances of guys, or at least two lances in the leader, and who knows what we'll be up against. There's a couple of duels here at higher levels, which are probably not a good idea. I thought about taking this escort mission, but then I'm like, if they get two lances at the start, we're going to burn through most of our ammo trying to pull them down at four skulls, and it's, we'd be fa probably facing some heavy mechs. That by the time we're ready to do the escort, we, we could be in a lot of trouble. So it's just that's just an iffy proposition. Once again, if we had the Holopolis, it makes things a little easier because you know we've got some armor there, right? So I think what we do today is we go ahead, we take this uh, recovery mission. Now I think it's a single point recovery. Uh, have no way out the planet. Reach the facility where they're hiding and pick them up. So it's one facility against the Lyran forces. So we're going to go ahead and do that one today. If we burn this one quick, we may actually try this one. It's a solo duel, two skulls, and I think the Wolverine may be able to pull that off. Hey, Commander. Maybe. Be with you in a second. I mean, we got the targeting computer in there, which really helps. It's like mostly lasers. Warfare Suite will probably help out a lot. I'm not really still sold on this MML and this thing, but for now it's okay. Having the Inferno ammo would help. Improve Swarm. I mean, maybe. Tagger will definitely help. Stability Gyro will definitely help. Sensors will help. Spall Liner is definitely going to help. You know what I mean? Like, so it's prob... There's, I mean, two skulls. It's iffy, but if we get some ridiculously special mech, we could get just completely sliced in half. So let's just do this first mission anyway. See how it goes, and then we'll play play it by ear. But we want we really want sea bills. Now there's not a lot of sea bills in this one, but I'm going to split it down the center, so we do get some, and hopefully we can find some stuff that we can sell. All right, except in this, and that we got to take Killjoy out, and we brought we got our Mermilo here. We just picked him up, so let's drop in him. For now, I think ultimately I want him in the Wolverine. We were talking about maybe turning the Wolverine into a melee mech a little later on down the road. But for now, we'll leave him in the Rattlesnake. 
just to be able to take up the space. And maybe we do some charging in this one. I don't know. Let's go. Command interface initiated. Okay, here we go. What kind of mercenary has a rescue clause? I do. I ain't staying behind. Are you kidding me? Smart guy, the one who's managed to outlive more. Yeah, there you go. See? A curling eye under their idiot noses here. Get in range and I'll come out to meet you. Yeah, okay, we're on it. We are on it. And then we get out of there over here, eh? Gonna have to listen to the bullshit. Yeah, we'll have to listen to their bullshit all the way back to orbit, but whatever. Right? All right. So, uh, as stated um, before, there is no longer any spawn immunity. So, uh, dropping really close to the enemy is not always a good idea. Because they will be able to shoot us. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, which I probably shouldn't do a lot of because it's going to get me in trouble, is probably drop in here. So we'll put you. That's the Cephalus. No, oh, that's the Shadowhawk. Cephalus. Wolverine. Uh, Rattlesnake. And then. Not that that matters. We'll put you and you there. That's our vehicles. So apparently the, in the past few patches of Rogue Tech, um, the vehicles being permanently destroyed was somehow disabled. So now it's re-enabled. Uh, if you've watched the... Um, the... Oh, I can't tell you. Because... <laughs> The episode that I'm talking about hasn't been aired yet, so I can't tell you what happened. Uh, so yeah, just forget I said anything. All right, we're gonna move up here. So there's a vehicle at least. Um, all right, Taser, go ahead and scout me some enemy, will you? Scout me some enemy. Okay, we got a vehicle. This may go quick, in which case we can actually go ahead and pull off that. Uh, other mission. We got a light LRM carrier, SRM tracked APC, and a joust. Well, ooh, that'll be nice. That's pretty chunky armor. I mean, it's garbage in the back, but still. All right. Well, let's uh, take a pot shot at this guy. Don't mind being a little warmer. Ooh, nice hit. Nice hit! Waiting on you, Commander. I shouldn't get cocky. Got it. Max they may speed, get reinforcements, no but it's unlikely. This one we may get lucky on. Now, I'm recording this just after I posted the most... The most... Just posted the first episode for the Royals. Which is the Lance that's... Um, let's leave those off. That is Traveling with the Duelist, and if you haven't seen the Duelist series, um, go check that out on the channel. Um, and then there's also the Royals, which is a tandem series running along with the Duelist. What can I They're do both technically you? the same playthrough, but we're just using them as separate individual playthroughs. The Duelist is, is, is a guy that's um, basically operating on his own, so he doesn't get any help from the Lance that he's with. And then the Royals are the Lance that we have uh, firing. That's uh, that's actually with them. Got it. And they're in clan space, so it's a completely different playthrough. And I've played a couple. The f I played the first two episodes for both. I gotta say, it's really it's been a really interesting attempt at a playthrough. So it's gonna get more and more difficult, I think, trying to find more um, uh, more dual missions. But we'll see how it goes. All right, good night. Ooh. Let's go this way. I don't want to shoot through those guys. No, I might like I'll shoot them in the back. You know me. Oh my god, look at that. We'll take that shot. Could be a kill shot. Yep. Popped him like a zit. Enemy down. Receiving you. All right, Sturm. Yeah, once again, I don't want to shoot through my, uh... 
I'm getting God. wiser, guys. I really am. I'm always taking those shots through my own guys, and then I think that's probably enough. Distant? No, it's not. Who am I, what, what, who am I fooling? It's going to end up shooting my own guy. How are we doing for heat? Beautiful. Uh, let's switch to... Now nah, loose swarms on. Firing on target. Get a little bit of damage in anyway. There you go. I live to serve. There you go. All right, Mr. Mothman Prophecy. Full throttle. Twenty-five. Ooh, that's that's a nice shot right there. So we're gonna take this shot. Uh, so yes. Once again, thank you. I can't remember who it was that mentioned that the ATGMs will only fire if they're going to hit. So leaving them on is fine. Left on target. Yeah, see? They're not going to fire unless they hit, which is beautiful. So we don't really, we're not really wasting any ammo. This is going on my permanent record, is it? In this situation, I don't mind going ahead and using them. I don't think we're going to get any reinforcements once we rescue this guy. So this will probably be it. I'm just going to run the Cephalus straight in there. Otherwise, I'd be hanging on to him in case we got a nasty mech. He's giving us his backside. Oof. Armor blow through. Internal Hit the damage. turret. Well, no. Sorry, rotor. Hit the rotor. You're not even going to get to fight this battle, man. Right. Got to wind this thing up, get some speed going. All right, it's all good. This guy should be able to cover some good distance. No, can't be bothered, eh? Just can't be bothered. Okay. Commander. Copy that. Like I said, I think we're just going to run it straight in. I'll make sure we don't overheat here. Take a shot at this guy. Oof. It's pretty nasty. Let's go with the boltons, though. Alright, good damage. Good damage. Excellent. No SRMs remaining. Alright, you guys, get on that friggin' Turd Blossom over here. He's giving us your back. Or he's giving us his back. Uh, yeah, man. Let's go with everything. Try for the kill. Good damage, man. Yeah, the Griffin's really shaped up. All out of short range missiles, Commander. Not sure how you yep. guys feel about it, but with that, uh... That combat shotgun Double on there, shot. it's made a difference. I don't know, maybe maybe Griff has just actually got a, uh, maybe he's just gotten more confidence now, too. Confirmed. Could be the case. I got one on there. Eh. Eh. Standing by. No shooting. Okay, do we go after the joust and go for the kill, or do we try and open up this guy over here? What's your armor? It's mediocre. Uh, yeah, let's go for the kill. Put one back. Well, we got through the armor. Standing by. Nice. Got past the armor. Got it, Commander. Straight up on this guy. I know we're we got our rotor exposed, but we should be able to finish him here. I think. And yep. Your armor it is. There you go. He gave us a soft, soft ass it. side, so we took it. We took it. I'm here. All right, kiddo, get up there. Going as fast as Getting I a bit can. extra speed here. Is that it? Who's left? Good to go. Oh, Mermilo. Mermilo. Double time. Mermelo. Or Merlo. Nice Merlo. Let's just use the countermeasures on him. Time to die. I 
All right, buddy, what are you doing? Oh no, we scrambled your sensors, time to run. Actually, it's probably because we killed everybody else. <laughs> He's like, I'm the only one left. Show me your war face. Show me your taser face. Um, sure. Oh wait, wasn't there a green line here? Why is that green and that's... That changed to blur, do you see that? See how it changed to blue? Sure. Whatever. Yep. Whatever, buddy. I'm not even listening to what this guy's saying. If there's more mechs coming, we'll deal with them. But let's just hammer this guy. Not bad. No short range missiles remain. I'm ready. That's all right. That's all right. You don't need the short range missiles. I'm gonna give this guy oh, some stuff over here. Hunt him down. Hunt him down. Blaze fire up, firing everything. Oof. Yeah, I know I've mentioned this in the um I'm out of long range missiles. Uh in the Royals playthrough, we've got a sentinel. And it's got a uh, it's like forty tons. It's got a Gauss rifle in the one arm. Every time it misses, it's like, yep, fifteen tons of wasted space. Fifteen tons of wasted space! You know, I'd prefer an ultra, like even an ultra ten. Having it, like I know that the pinpoint damage is nice because it can do a, like a large amount of damage, but if it's not hitting, it's like wasted space. You know, it's got to be relatively consistent for me to like it. All right, fire. Right, Commander. There you go. This could end it right here. Bang! You're dead. Uh, who's up? Hey. Yeah, she's sad she didn't get a chance to shoot this guy, but. See, she would have had a chance too. She's got her speed up now. Thing's got its acceleration going. Yeah, you would have had a shot at it. Ah well. Who's left? What? Oh. Waiting for orders. Mermilo. Got it. Commander. And Sturm. On my way. Double time. The asset has been there it is, folks. And is ready for retrieval. All right, so 360,000, that's not bad after our drop cost for like taking like almost next to no damage. And there's all the parts of the joust. It's weird that that's the only thing that showed up in the uh It's the only thing that we're getting salvage for. All the other vehicles didn't show up. Wow. I don't know what to say to that. I mean, I guess we just take the three joust parts. Because most likely we're going to be getting everything anyway. This will give us the best chance to get it. I can't remember how many other items we got. 12, I thought it was. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we'll be, one of these things we won't get. 100 bucks says it's the joust piece. Oh, no, we got it all. Was it 312 or was it more? That doesn't really matter. We got it all anyway, so we'll take it. Uh, heat sinks. Don't need those. Don't need the structure. Four light machine guns. Let's hang on to them for now. They're clan light machine guns, so they're super light, right? Quarter ton of pop? Yeah, we can fit four of them in for a ton. That's not bad. All right, we'll take that. That's not bad. All right, well, zero damage. Let's get our pilots back, and we'll see if we can do that solo. We're at two million now. Do we... Ah, do we... I want some buffer money. Let's just bring... Two, three days... And let's try that one mission. It's Steiner against Rasselhag, though. So, I mean, I don't particularly like facing Rasselhag, but... 
Um, so we're at honored now with them. Come on. There we go. 93. So we'll lose a few points, but we're still good. So let's try... Ooh. So 130, 120, 120,000 difference between. So we're going to get 120,000 off a random part. Probably not. We want to be able to choose a part. If we go this way, we need to make several hundred thousand. And if we get a lousy mech that we're up against, we're not going to get that. So let's go one four. We're guaranteed to get a part. And then the three extra parts. I, I mean, yeah, let's go this route. Let's try this. Although I don't know who I want to pilot this griffin in the... I should send granite in. Uh, let's go... Yeah. Let's go with injury resist for, for granite. Mech warrior training complete. Now Sturm has been piloting. Where's Sturm? Has been piloting Resident the Griffin you. or the uh, Wolverine. Come on. I guess we have to do it here. Yeah. Uh, only two missions though. Because it's normally. Killjoy. Hmm. I don't think you're the one. I think we're going to go with... Uh, let's have Granite pilot it. Sure. Yeah, let's just go with Granite. But since we're here... Actually, we should probably hold off because we got a financial report coming up. There's no point in, uh, in increasing these guys' skills if um, we're just going to have to pay for them at the end of the month anyway. So let's go back here. Make yourself comfortable. Negotiate. I mean, it's... Uh, Talos has got bonus defense, Clan XL, better optics. We got more to lose though this way. We gotta worry about the compact light support life support. Somebody reminded me with this though. The pilot gets injured on overheating. So gotta be careful about overheating. Which this mech generally doesn't do anyway, so but this one's got an AMS as well. We might be able to get some long-range stuff done with this guy. Let's go with the Talos. Why is it allowing me to drop everybody? Oh, it's not. It's not giving me to deploy. All right, so let's just load, clear, apply. Great feature. Once again, kudos to the Rogue Tech team. We'll go this way. Let's go with the Talos. Let's just do it. Interface initiated. Alright, here we go. Desert. This could be to our advantage, but we'll find out. I think what I want to do. Uh so you are down the hill slightly. That's gonna work a bit to our advantage. Now hopefully you're not a missile mech, but let's uh how do I want to run this? We want to go this way? Kind of come down behind the rock here. Keep the height advantage so they can't charge us. I think maybe we try that. So let's get over here. Move into position. Stay in the trees if we can, as long as we can. Okay. Uh, now let's come down here. Yeah, I'm glad I put that 250 in here. Position confirmed. It's made such a it's made such a big difference. Having that little extra speed. What were we dealing with there? 
for what? Looked like a trebuchet, but I could be wrong. Let's just peek out. Heading out. Okay, we picked them up. Shadowhawk. That's a lot of energy weapons. That's a lot of armor. Uh, let's take a shot at him. Oof, nice, the big one hit. Oh, he's standing in a uh, mineral field too. That doesn't help. You're gonna stay there, are you? Oof, enjoy that heat. Oh, good to go. Not heating up at all. Well, wow. look at you being all unheatable. Um, yeah, as long as he stays in those mineral fields, it's going to be hard to hit him. I mean, we're at least we're in range with the uh, SRMs here. We're not getting much evasion, though. We got three. That's not too bad. Uh, doesn't have missiles, so there's no point in putting the AMS on, obviously. So yeah, let's just fire at him. Roger that. Okay, both Ultras hit. Ready for orders. So you got a lot of rock in the way there. Let's get up here. He's got it. If he's gonna just stick down there, we're gonna just kind of maneuver around him slightly. Yeah, you know it's weird. I, I, I thought I should have done uh, control burst last turn. I'm like, nah, I got another turn before I need to use it. But apparently I didn't. We'll beat him through attrition. All right. So hopefully we can kill this guy without, I'm pretty sure he has an XL engine. Hopefully we can kill him without destroying the XL because I'd like to get that for C bills. Let's try for a solid red here if we can get it. Uh, that looks pretty good. That is pretty good. Let's get over here. Yeah, man, there's no point in closing with this guy. Because if he does decide to go all melee on my ass, it could be a bad time. Throw this up, and I think we go... It's not giving us any bonuses, but we'll take it. Attacking from position. Yes! Did you guys just see what he did? Did you catch that? He turned his exposed side away from me. Or he tried to, anyway. Aye, aye. That's... I love that. I love that. It's looking pretty good. Looking out. I think he's still in front of me, though. Like, it would still be a face shot, but... He turned as far as he could bef before he would lose the ability to shoot me. Got it. Oh, yeah! Brutal! Just bail out. Critical hit, Commander. Here he comes. Where's that large laser? I thought it would have been on his arm. Might be in the torso. And they might have replaced the AC in the torso. Oh, he's going again. I'm gonna have to drop him, I think. I think he wants to melee me. I'm showing minor damage. Uh. Oh, we got plenty of vigilance, so we're going to sprint. Let's get up here in the trees, just in case he does charge. We're going to try and move twice here, so... Let's go vigilance. What's our chance? Yeah, it's pretty garbage. That's fine. Yeah, this guy's in a lot of trouble. 
Alright, let's hit him. Ooh, another hit. What do you need? So he can run up here anytime and get me if he wants to. So if he's going to do that, let's give him our left side where the Ultra 5 is not. So we'll move over here. He, he's in range to, to melee me if he wants to, but hopefully this ends him. Oof, not quite. That hit something good. Wow. He's just not having a good day. All right, we gotta we gotta just end this guy now. Oh, here he comes! I knew it! I knew it! He missed though. Here comes all the lasers. Nope. I guess that must have been a charge attack. Yeah. Okay, let's get our back to the wall. Got it. And hope a little bit. He can still get around behind me. Not much I will be able to do about that, but that's fine. Is control burst back yet? It is. Stop me from jamming. There we go. So much for getting the XL. That's fine though. Mission successful. It's better to not get the XL and not take a lot of damage than to take a lot of damage and get the XL because then I'd just be using that to pay for the damage anyway. So and I could lose components that I won't wouldn't get back. So just better off being safe safer than sorry. Intact large laser. Bonus range. A lot of shadow heart pieces. The tag would be nice. We don't have any tags. It's one of the things that we're missing on a lot of stuff. Double heat sinks we got plenty of. Endo steel we got plenty of, right? We got one. It's gonna go in the Marauder. So let's grab I as as weak as it sounds. I think we grabbed the tag because we have got a lot of instances where we could use that tag. So let's grab that and then see what we get. I mean, we're only getting four pieces, so. Basic cockpit, basic sensors, and the Shadowhawk part. Sure, why not? All right, so marginal damage. That's fine. So we made some good sea bills in a couple of easy missions. That's great. Um, so let's jump because uh, I want to pull. I want, we're going to go through the nine days. We'll go to the financial report, and we'll bring the Marauder forward just so you guys can see what we're working with. I probably won't do it. I'll probably get the basic repairs going on it, but then I'll let you guys have some decision on what we do with it. So let's go to the navigation here. Um, so we want to go to a planet that's probably around three skulls. Maybe something with... Uh, let's stay away from mission... Wow, we get so so much good money when we go for these planets with, with missions on them. But we've been getting three and a half skull missions, so let's go someplace... Where we can get the Marauder up and running, repair it and refit, and then we'll go into one of these missions. So let's go... Where's a good three skull planet here? That's in a short distance. I don't want to go a long distance. Like, that's a good distance, but it's a lousy skull rating. Three and a half. Karsten, three skulls. Ice World. Not a lot there, but it's 18 days. That's not too bad. It'd be nice to be able to get off a desert planet. Uh, is there anything else? Two, one and a half, four, three and a half. Uh, Rassel Hag is fighting Draconis Combine. By the time we get there, the battle will probably be over, but it's 19 days. Let's not go there. Um, ah, man, the variety of skulls is not really in our favor at the moment. Three is kind of where we're at. I mean, we can go to the Lyran world, I guess. 17 days for two and a half skulls. Uh, I want to stay with Rasselhag, so let's let's go to Karsten. Let's just go. Calculating course now, Commander. We'll have about 20 days when we're there to be able to to get enough sea bills for the next financial report, which I think should be fine. Okay, there's the jump. And one more day. 
Got financial report. report for you, Commander. We got 1.5 million left. So let's bring that Marauder forward. It may mean we, us putting the Holopolis away for now, but I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, so Mech Bay. See hey, what Commander. we're working with here. Be with you in a second. Will you? I just need you to quickly put this together for me, buddy. Uh, so let's go ahead and ready this. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. All right, XL engine, pulse lasers, LBX-10. Let's see what we get out of this. I'm I'm wagering not a lot, but we'll see. Uh, here we go. Bring them down here. Oh, maybe a little bit. One arm's left. It's not bad. Okay, so a little bit of stuff on the one arm. And that's it. Medium pulse laser. <laughs> and, a and a heavy jump jet. Okay, let's strip the stuff off this guy for now. And what are we looking at? 778,000 repair in 26 days. So it's not too, too bad. First impression, so like, let's say we max the armor. Right? It's not too bad. Eternals, what are we looking at here? For a core, 290 is the biggest one we have. I mean, that's close to a, to a 4 6 movement. Not quite, but it's close. Yeah, 4 6, okay. I mean, it technically shouldn't be if you go by Battletech rules, but that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to complain. So we get, get a 290 core in there, and then maybe. I'm just. Doing a quick play here just to see what we're what we roughly got to work with. We're not going to get it going with this, but we're just going to play for a moment. Um, I mean, we could go with Duralast. Increases the armor weight though. Like we're adding five tons. Yeah, we're adding over five tons, five and a half tons for the armor. Um, and I think if I was making putting together a brawler, might be a good idea. So we got one ballistic, one missile, four laser. Uh, we don't have a lot going on, but I mean the the options are like ultra ten, you know, and then some. Not necessarily a lot of. I mean, we could just go with like PPCs too, right? So Donald's. Apply AOE. Recoil of two. And this has zero recoil. So the AOE is nice, but I think we drop some recoil because we're getting recoil from the, the AC. We're getting three here. So it'd be way too much every turn, I think. So yeah, I mean, we could go this route and then fill it with uh, extra heat sinks. Right? We need to get a regular double heatsink kit, but for the sake of argument, double heatsink kit would be 60. And then 78. Yeah, we can put three heat sinks. That would be 78. And then we'd have a couple tons left over for whatever. So I mean that's a that's a starter option. The other way to do it would be to drop the PPCs. Right? If we drop these guys and go with larges instead, we're, we're, we're decreasing the damage, but we could go with larges and then we could put a pair of mediums in as well. You know? For a bit of, like, it's increases the firepower overall. We have an extra two, what's the heat? 84. We have an extra two tons. So if we added, yeah, we would actually gain a ton this way. Because we would only need one more heatsink than what we were putting in before to get it to 84. And then we would have, that would leave us one ton left over. Does that make sense? Yeah, it would leave us one, an extra ton left over, so we'd have three extra tons. Because we would do, that would be four double heatsinks. One, two, three, four. Right, we need ammo back of my someone's probably screaming you need ammo you need don't forget the ammo 
I got you. One ton, maybe? I'd like to find regular ultra ammo. Ah, uh, this caseless man. Increased heat and jam chance. So that will leave us a couple of tons left over, roughly. I mean, we could probably drop the armor in the back and everything a little bit. I mean, if we did it... Do we have any Ultra 5 ammo? I don't think we do. We do, actually. Because we could switch the 10 for a 5. Here's my thought. Uh, Ultra 5 ammo. Switching the Ultra 10 for an Ultra 5. Gives us a whole bunch of tonnage left over for, let's say, um, some kind of... Uh, some kind of missile. I mean, we could put a rocket pack 20 in for a single blow up, uh, massive punch, but, or we could put in like a SRM 6 and a ton of ammo and another heat sink. You know? Do we have SRM ammo? We do. We, st we certainly got the space. Could probably drop a couple double heat sinks in there. Actually, we what? Do we have an ECM? Yeah, we want to put a Guardian ECM in, right? What are we looking at? 1.5 million. Pretty pretty close. The PPC capacitor would have been nice if we had two PPCs, but the increased heat and everything would be just nasty. Um, plus, then it relies on me remembering to turn it on and off, and and like, you know me, uh, so. <laughs> So we want the Ultra to hit more. It does 45 instead of 40. But there's more lasers. So I mean we could choose one of these two as the as a fire control system. I'm just going to throw that for now. Because we're not going to set it going yet. So what else do we have down here? Um, clan sensors might work. Or even recon sensors. We already have an ECM. I mean, we could use this as the ECM instead. But I think I would prefer the Guardian. It's way more protection. Right? And then... That's a fire control system. So we don't really have a cockpit for this thing. Which is fine. I mean, we'll find one eventually. So that would kind of be it based on what we have and then we could just kind of like shave a bit of this off maybe not too much something like that you know and it's a half decent starter build you know if we can get some inferno ammo for the SRM 6s or some acid ammo would even be better you know and then once we get a good gyro and an XL engine, hopefully clan XL, right, that'll jack the, the um, capacity up, get some clan endo steel in there, you know, to reduce the amount of space we're using, which means we can increase our weaponry. We've maxed out all the slots already, so getting an XL engine won't, and a gyro in now won't be possible, but, you know, it's, the possibilities are there. I mean, it's not a bad starter mech. There's far worse things. I mean, the damage isn't bad. What, we got, these are what, 25 each? Right, so 50 plus 80 is 130, plus 90 is 220, plus another 48, you know, 268. If we hit with everything, it's not too, too bad. Yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments section. I mean... It's a, it's a starter build, like I said, we, we, but the only thing is we need to get a double heatsink kit to make this work, which means we would have to probably get it from somewhere else. So let's confirm this, and then we will go back. I guess I just could have hit the uh, redo button down here, but we're going to repair everything. Repair all, pull out what, has, what it has left in it, which isn't much. Our double heatsink over there. So we picked up a double heatsink, a jump jet, 
medium pulse laser. Oh, I guess I must have dra actually dragged that over there by accident. 778. Let's get her going. It'd be nice to have that nice piece of heavy machinery in, into uh, I'll get it in the into service, you know? Because then we can have these three guys as, as a uh, starter of the secondary lance. These guys as the first lance. See how it goes. Um, the Marauder will probably uh, will replace the Jenner for now once it gets up and running. But because I, I have to keep these three, that's kind of the rule for inheritance. Is these three kind of have to be in the in the lineup. So we have to run with these guys for the main lance. So we'll see how it goes. The Marauder can cycle in and out. Helopolis can cycle in and out. Maybe we start turning this guy back into an artillery mech again, rather than being direct fire. We turn it back into artillery. So when we're doing a uh, attack base or whatever, we can just nuke stuff from range but anyway got that going now all right so i'm going to finish traveling to the planet off off camera we'll have our helopolis back um and our pilot's already back so yeah we'll be ready to go when we get to the next planet we'll pick up some pick up some missions there hopefully get some good sea bills people are screaming at me in the comment section to get the engineering updated get the argo updated what brings yeah i mean Amanda? Sure, we still can, but we need the next habitat pod to be able to get this up and running. So this is a couple of million, right? And then this is like, you know, 1.2 million, right? And then these things are millions again. So, and then the drop size is slowly going to be increasing in cost. So, I mean, I can certainly try and rush through and do it. That just means like every episode is going to be just like sea bill hunting. Um, and that's all we'll be doing and like not much else like we won't be assembling mechs or anything because all the money will be going to the Argo so I'm kind of at a position here where I think eh we're probably okay for the next little bit I mean yes it would be nice to force myself to go ahead and do this but I'm only playing a couple of episodes every once in a while it's not like I'm dedicated to playing if I was like if this was an offline playthrough it would be a different story I don't, I don't mind taking three or four good like sea bill just plain old sea bill missions but three or four episodes in a row of just taking Sebo missions with nothing real else that really happening. I mean, I guess it depends on the missions we take, but um, we'll see. Um, right now, I'm just... I, I, we'll see how it goes. We'll see where the sea bills go after we get the Marauder built. Because I'd like to get the Orion brought forward too, but we need salvage for that, which means we're not going for sea bills. We're going for salvage. And Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.